say to parents, teachers, relatives, um, anyone who's who has connections to young people who might or might not be uh, feeling very low, depressed, uh, w- what is a way that we can at least try to help prevent these things from happening as oh, as adults? Number one, don't try to be their friend. They've got enough friends as it is. They need somebody who will sit down and talk to them in a direct manner. And what's going on inside your head? What are you feeling? I just had a bad day at school. What caused that bad day? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this happened and this. Well, tell me how you're feeling now. You know, and just be direct. And if they're really bad, just ask us, have you ever thought, or do you have, not have you ever, but it's, do you have thoughts of not wanting to wake up in the morning? And if they say yes, they have thoughts like that. That is an absolute trigger. Yeah. That person needs help. Plain and simple. What are some signs to know when to ask that question? Do you think, except for the excessive drinking and well, like say, if somebody's mood actually, you know, goes totally change in their in their moods, you know, if they're usually you know an upbeat kind of person, all of a sudden, bang, they're sulking or don't talk or they're angry all the time or whatever. There's something going on, hmm. and then sometimes with young people though they. They don't know how to ask for help. That's that's one of the big things, and it's and some some of these kids feel that they're not even loved, that there's no love at home, and some of them might be right. Maybe they're maybe they're in a in a home where love truly isn't there. But then there's a lot of homes where love is there, but they just don't believe it. Oh, they're so strict. They may do this. They don't care about me. And if, I like to say, you know, if if a young person is having feelings like that and they are truly desperate, find somebody to talk to. If you cannot talk to your parents or your grandparents or someone that close to you, find somebody to talk to. And I'm not talking about, you know, their friends at school. Saying, yeah, you know what? I, I, th- I thought about doing that one time. I was feeling pretty down. You know, I thought my dad's going to kill me because I got an F. And I, I was scared. I, I thought about it. You, hmm. That's not going to do them any good. No, don't go to those kind of people. I mean to people who can actually, actually show you that hope and love exist in the world today. I mean, if nothing else, go down the street and find a church. Find a synagogue, find a mosque, find a leader, a religious leader who who can tell you about love and teach you about love. Or to a youth center, just anywhere to where there's a responsible adult, a school counselor, a teacher, a prince, anybody who can tell you that you are loved, that you are worthy of this life. Yeah, sports, uh, I think, is a good... It can, can be, be a good, it, have a yeah. good coach and uh, good people, good mentors for children mm-hmm. is, I think, a very important absolutely uh, thing for for young people. And it, it can be very very hard to talk to your parents, even if you have a great relationship. I think most kids need needs someone outside of that closed realm of yeah. of family. And I, I sometimes wonder about a coach, though. You know, with, with like, you know, with American football, some of these coaches be, you know, I suck it up. <laughs> well, obviously, there's bad coaches and good coaches. Yeah, and, but, and you know, maybe... a, a person who really, you know, is truly a good one, you know. Yeah, he, we, of course. He, he sh- you should be able to confide in them. Yeah. Of and course. if that doesn't work, find somebody else. <laughs> yeah, But Keep just looking. don't give up. 